This is uh, typically a first party coverage that will offer financial assistance to you know, a recovery cost. Um, there's also a liability component as well too, where you can protect yourself from the data that might getting might be getting leaked. And then there's also um, if you're providing services for other companies, you know, technology errors and omissions would be another key thing that you want to get. So most providers today offer cybersecurity insurance. Uh, you know, we happen to get ours through Hanover. I don't know enough about it to say once which uh, provider is better than others, but work with your particular provider and make sure that you've got yourself covered there. Some things that are not included in this would be like your computer gets fried, if you have intellectual property um, that they happen to grab and steal, that is typically not covered by cybersecurity insurance. So if you have a secret sauce of some variety that you wanna make sure is protected, you might want to get insurance on that um, in particular. And then cybersecurity insurance doesn't necessarily cover protective measures. So the things that we're talking about today, you're gonna to wanna to do, um, and they aren't gonna necessarily be covered by your insurance policy, but they will keep you from you know, getting yourself at a point where you're gonna to have to use the insurance. And then how much coverage should you get? It really depends on the size of your business. You're a billion dollar business, you know, you should get five to $10 million of coverage most likely. Smaller businesses might wanna just start with a million dollars. Um, again, it just is a matter of risk tolerance on your side, how much risk do you think there is? Again, if you're a larger company, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have more insurance um, because you're probably gonna get a ransomware demand for, for more money. Also think about like how much would you lose if you were down for a week in terms of business and all those kind of things? That might be a, a good threshold to use as far as how you set your insurance amount as well. So again, talk to your broker, understand what you've got today for cyber ins security insurance. If you don't have something, make sure you get a policy in place so that you are protected.